Alrighty. Let's take a look at how bad this was. Um, get some exports done here. And flip this over to desktop so you guys can catch all this. Alrighty. Hey, wait, 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 what's with the echo? There we go. <clears throat> Much better. Start playing Legends mode. Back, dog's fine, we'll get test results on Monday, blah, blah, blah. Alrighty, let's make sure we've cleared out our original one here. So I come here, raid, defer fortress, yeah, there, there. Okay, we should have, looks like it's all clear, we're good. Alrighty, B, export the map. We'll find our fortress and see if there's any interesting notes that came out of the world gen history and we'll get uh, cracking with the next uh, next fortress and see what uh, strategy you want to take on this next one here. P, that's taken care of, and finally X, which is the big one. There it goes. See how that boils out. Sixty megs so far. Yes, we are back and we will get started here again. We'll probably run this then till 7. I ate when uh, I went to the vet, so I'll give us a little extra record time in there. Well, what's up, little bud? Huh? You glad to have your sister back? Huh? No, you didn't get a snack. No, no snack for you. She got Arby's. Yeah, she did. She got Arby's. Well, you can have Arby's next time you go to the vet. Oh, we just cleared uh, 300 megs. Boy, and I remember when uh, I used to have an 80 meg hard drive, and I thought that was all that. Okay, let's see. Process Legends export. Make sure that's cleared out. And wait there. Hit that. Okay. Generate that up. Mm -hmm. well, that's doing it. There we go. Start playing Door Fortress. We get our site finder fired up. In fact, we actually have another site. We, we used P on our last save, or we used N, so let's use P. So we'll go notes, site P. No, we did do P. All right, I guess we'll use N. There's N. All righty, got to figure out, I think we went with the smooth vessel last time, but we'll double check here. Our export, I think, is done, yep. Come up here, Legends Viewer. Get that fired up. And select. And there's our Legends 1 archive. And what I'll do when I post these videos for that, I'll end up trying to get a link or something for all these so everybody can take a crack. As there was, I did up to, I think, Q for site selection, but. Anyways, that's smooth. So, hope everybody's doing okay that's still around. Um, 
apparently based on the number of fish sandwiches that are available at fast food places. I'm assuming Lent is in uh, in progress. All right, here we go. Uh, let's see here. We were guessing where the dwarves here they are. I think we might have been the smooth vessel. Let's take a look. Yep, there it is. We made it four years. Squirt nets. Ew. Let's see who's the current king. Six, okay. Let's take a look here. Squirt nets. The War of Rage. That must have been the humans that decided to get on us. Still going. Hmm. Oh no, those are the beak wolves. We don't want about not worry about that. We're on the realm of pregnancies. That's probably what it was. The onslaught of routing. Yep, that was the humans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. wonder why they decided to go to war with us. Strikes me as relatively odd. Yeah. Alrighty, so let's go back. Back. Squirt nets. We survived, well, basically 12 wars. Six beast attacks. And a whole lot of death. Three hundred and seventeen. Irenth, let's see if we can find the guy that killed our Titan. <laughs> Murdered. Murdered. Check up here and see if we can find it in the beast attack. Yeah, this is the Titan, I believe. Ah, here it is. Um, news I was shot and killed by the dwarf Aerith Swift Keys. So our hero that uh, killed off the giant titan was murdered by a dwarf. Oh, wow, that is hilarious. Yeah, I think we did pretty good on that one. That that was an amazing turnaround on that uh, uh, temper tantrum cycle there. But yeah, we'll do better this time, I think. Whatever happened to Diamond Day? Hmm, became romantically involved with Emush Grove ship. Uh, shot and killed, and then killed by the Ferric Elves. Whatever happened to Emish Grum? He was murdered by another dwarf. Well, that's always good to know. But at least we know that uh, we were the smooth vessel. So, I think that's where we'll pick up off of. So, make sure with a smooth vessel. Embark. Yes. Yeah, 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 we know. Standard lobster glitch. Alrighty. Embark. This will be our new home. Labor clobbers. Hmm. Alright, what do we got? Our site looks like it's relatively benign. There's a river. And... Hmm. Oh, 
options, options, options. You, CTE, hunting dog assigned, we're good there. DT, I don't know what's underground, so we need to find that out fast too. So, DT, let's clear out. Hmm, in fact, we have sand again, which is good. This is our alternate site that we were planning on. Let's say this looks good right about here. Let's take a slightly different approach to this, though. Let's DT. Yeah, I think this looks like a good little spot right here. And I'm thinking. We're going to get all of our tower points put up first, so we don't have to worry about that. We'll go J. We'll go J. We'll go J. We'll go J. And we don't have to worry about that later. at some point over here, so let's do one here. Okay, so that ought to get that going. Again, we'll need a temporary stash here. But we'll need emergency. We'll cut it right there for now. Big. Have you tackled the FB dust problem if you had a shower instead of a pool? Um, that might work. Um, we could do a fountain this time, I think. Um, we have a, a river we can tip off of and stuff like that, so um, that might be interesting to say the least. Yeah, I think we probably could. <laughs> I think what we're also going to do is get some machinery going this time. I'd like to get some millstones worked up and stuff like that. Little bed, planning mode. Let's get our barracks done. You six add. Let's get That should be more than enough for our initial uh, pits. Let's see here. Let's keep this just a touch. Let's just try to use that much space up here and be done with it. I Let's see. 
wall. And we need to kind of get this gated out here. We'll go here to here. And we'll go wall. I want to catch this lake here, so we'll go right there. Yeah, something like that. No, one more. And one more. Make a log, wall, and maybe a third one here. And this time I'm not going to try to roof in the whole thing. Because it's just not working out for us in general when we do that. If we are going to roof anything, we'll end up using wood. It's just too... It's far too difficult to try to roof it with, with stone. It's just, it takes too long. We had four years and we couldn't roof it in, so... If something goes wrong, but yeah, that's true. And again, we have glass, so we're happy there. I think I'm going to do something a little bit more interesting, though. I think I'm going to drive a pit out here on the surface rather than underground. But we'll take a look here. So, hopefully we can find where our caves are at some point here, as soon as we get this taken care of. Unlike the last uh, time, I do not have my buddy laying out the bottom, so we're going to have to find the caves the old-fashioned way. Yeah, let's do three first. Actually, let's do this instead. Q-X. No, P-X. We'll do this. P, animal. We'll just stash our seeds right there. And then we're going to keep the food with ourselves. Settings. Enable. Block all. Seeds. that in. Build P. Sure, there are no barrels. Good. No barrels. Good. We got a couple of different colors of sand. Let's see if we get lucky and find a cave. The sooner the better. Build the... So, plump helmets.
main junk pile here. Enable, 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 except the squishy stuff. Enable, 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 blah, blah, blah. So we'll get to try to get an early start on our Warhammers if we can. Depending on how, how we do down here. We don't have a lot of space that way. We have plenty of space that way, so... We'll probably keep the workshops on the left side of the map. Also have to do all of our deals there. Let's do build C floor three four there we are one two three and we do not have enough andesite yet. We do have enough wood though. That'll be quick for our carpenter then. Alrighty. Add sweet pods, B, sweet pods, C, D. And to keep these guys busy, I think many of our gaps. I'm gonna put cave. Uh, one thing that we know that we have is monk helmets. B, C, D. Our plump helmet count as high as we can. Oh crap, gators, really? Alligators. Hmm. I think we might be able to get a hold of some of those later. And what are you? You're a snake? What kind of snake? Rattlesnake. Hmm. You lay eggs too, I believe. Hmm. I'm liking where this is going. Seems to be a fair amount of wildlife. to our advantage. Definitely could work to our advantage. Uh, and isn't hauling blocks a little faster than dragging those heavy stones? Yeah, but the problem is, is you end up tying all your masons into making blocks and then they still have to haul the blocks to the masonry block um, workshop, so... Yeah, it's just, if you can get enough masons going to keep that between all of the coffins and doors and coffers and stuff like that, it's pretty rough. I need to get my miners doing nothing but mining. You guys are doing too much useless crap. There we are. Miners, clear all labors, custom profession, miner, boom. Hmm. We're already in the rock there, so we need to go with one more. Big. There. That will be our level that we end up building our main fortress on, that's fine. We go looking for our caves. Wait a minute. Isn't obsidian? 
There's obsidian on this map, eh? Let's check the prospect all. What surprises do we have here? We have gold, galena, limonite, garnite, rod adamantine. We have no iron on this map. None. Wait, no. Limonite has iron in it, doesn't it? Yeah, that's got iron. 8,000 units of it. Not a terribly large amount, but it's something. Eh, we'll live. Alright. Let's get this switched back over to ease recording here. Get back to just the DS screen. There we go. Um, there are some issues with wheelbarrows and actually making it worse uh, rather than better for hauling stuff. It just depends. Wow, we really haven't hit a cave yet. We found gold. We've got silver. Our bridge is almost done. I think we're going to make an underground trash location. Let's see, take a crack at that. Wow, a couple layers of obsidian. One, two, three layers of obsidian. Four. Huh, should have hit a cave by now. Okay, now we got that taken care of, sort by profession. I need a full time cook and brewer for now. Uh, base citizen, custom profession, crafter, and farm and brewer. I can't do it. You do nothing else. All the way to the bottom. Hmm. Well, we should be. Okay, so there's like five, six, seven, so we should be able to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This should have cave access somewhere. cave breach just for a second here. Just because I need them to finish those tower points. Alrighty. Yeah, we can make a couple wheelbarrows just to take a look and see how it goes. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. There, we get six of those popped out. Next up is going to be A, sweep up quarry bush, B, quarry bush, C, quarry bush, D, plump helmet. Already did quarry bush, so plump helmet. B, pigtails, C, pigtails, D, plump helmets. Plump helmets, B, cave weed, C, cave weed, D, plump helmets. And we'll do. Cory, cave wheat, pigtails, double cups there. That ought to take care of 
most of that. Yes, I'll charge you. Good grief. Friend of mine just got a promotion. Good for him. Alrighty, I think all of our tower entry points are done. Good. We can get those taken care of at our leisure for the most part. Alright, and since we got two of these guys here, we'll go this way as well. Hopefully we can hit something here. If not, we'll be defining out a nice area of our fortress, I suppose. Yeah, I got no problem trying out uh, wheelbarrows. Last time I heard they actually made pathing worse, but hey, can't hurt to try. How come nobody's moving beds? We have beds. We should be moving them. Weird, to say the least. Well, we definitely know where we can mine for some gold, I suppose. map level dx top all right let's go down two more city level see if we can hit anything don't want to chew up my map too much See now an axe dwarf. Who is an axe dwarf? Some of the I made extra training uh, axes to help with cutting, so somebody might have picked up one. But we've got a few spare uh, woodcutting axes for everybody else. Once we get some uh, another migrant wave in, we'll get some more people cutting wood. Really? There's got to be more. There's got to be a cave breach around here somewhere. We are way too deep in the ground for not having a cave breach. Yeah, probably. Um, 
Yeah, no, it's uh, you'll see if you've caught any of the uh, League of Legends matches, that would be... Um, uh, what the hell is this screen name? Zarivan. Yeah, it looks like he might have just gotten a promotion, so... Kudos to him. Seriously, still no breach? You gotta be joking. I must be missing this by like a mile. Alright, well, let's try the bottom level here. Hoping for like damp rock, anything? You guys got nothing for me? Build workshop mason. I need to get some temporary stuff going here at this rate. T. Build wall. Where did I put that other wall? Somewhere around here. There it is. Birch logs, chestnut, alder, maple, oak, larch, and ash. Yeah, you guys get right on that. Yeah, absolutely nothing, really. That is just... Never had this much trouble finding a cave entrance. yet? Still nothing. Really? I mean, everybody's got furniture moving. I am perplexed. And let's also get... Finding everything but the kitchen sink. There we go. DX. Don't need the rest of this. Okay, and again, build C. Build C wall. Got a cave. There we go. So yeah, it looks like it might be that. Actually, might be our second cave depth. Oh well. Now we can get to work. Dig. Let's get our initial boundary here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. with build workshop par sure why not DT some more tree cutting around here I I I I I There's another one I I 
down here? Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. Uh, we got hammered by an invasion of humans, um, which went horribly wrong. Then we got a titan, and then we got a forgotten beast, and then the forgotten beast got in the fortress and massacred all of us. Yep, it went, uh, it went south pretty darn quick. We had to breach the cave to try to uh, save a dwarf that ended up going crazy anyways, and then we tried to secure the cave, and then it just went from bad to worse. And for whatever reason, I got a glitch where they don't want to move beds. In fact, uh, I think I'm going to quick cycle this just to see if that will fix it here. Hold on. Save. About 20 more minutes here, and then uh, time for breakins for some dinner, I think. Don't worry, we'll get the uh, video uploaded. You'll be able to catch up there. All right, so let's just bail out of this temporarily. Okay, and then go back in. There. There, hopefully they'll start hauling beds now. Yep, there we go. We've got beds finally. Dormitory. While they're doing that, let's plan this out. We'll go one, two, three. I'll serve as a dormitory. Upgraded dormitory. We're going to need a place for our dwarves to dine, which we'll put here. We're going to have it a little bit bigger, though, and I'm going to do a couple things here. Uh, we needed places for levers, which worked out just fine last time. And actually, we're going to move this back just a tad. We're gonna have that as an outer perimeter. We'll put our bedrooms on this side of the hallway. But let's get a spot for a um, fountain. We were going to do a waterfall, permanent one at that. So we'll make them come in this way and then they'll come out this way into this hallway. Like so. Just yet. Um, let's see here. We can go X. Boom. All right. So we'll come here, and we're gonna need a place for the drains, and we'll have it splash here. So we'll need drain space there, and then we'll have to tap off the river up above somehow. That way we'll have a constant flow of water, constantly cleaning that area out. Then let's put a couple wells in here so they're happy. We'll go, so we'll put a well there and a well there. And we'll put a well here and a well there. We'll have this go into our grand kitchen area later. And uh, this hallway have go over to our offices and stuff later on. So they should get hit by the spray. We'll put a statue there so they don't actually stand on it. 
And then that should do. So, yeah, that'll work. And then let's do build C. No, build C wall. We will shut that off. This just for a little bit to force them to dig through that other direction. There. Yeah, you just have to close out and reload. That's the only solution I've really ever found to that problem. And actually, I want them to finish those tower ports first, so we'll hold off on that for just a minute. Alrighty, next up, since these are all stone, let's do this, P, S, stone, stone, build, C, stop, dump south, and a site, sure, hauling route, name, stone one, stop, take that, take this, give to that, don't care what kind of stone that'll do and then a vehicle virgin minecart Q one wheelbarrow no wheelbarrow take from link only good whoa why is everything marked for cutting? Control P. Auto chop disabled. Undesignate all, please. Good lord. That must have carried over from our last mat uh our last fortress. Mental note, those settings do not reset with a new fortress. Good to know. is working. Seems to be working. Where the hell did that stone go? Oh, really? And there it goes. Weird. My keyboard crapped out. Yep, you have a great evening. We've got about 15 more minutes here. DT. So there's trees in the area. I wonder if I can remove the wheelbarrow count. No, I'm pretty sure that won't work. Digging. You got that dug out, right? Yep. So you're getting those ports done. You should be the last ones done, too. Yep. Get back to digging this. Dig. And then this can go through.
that's queued up here before we wrap this up because it'll take me about that long let's get our water plan set up here so we need H actually yeah we can go H H so we can just go straight up Here, dig over. We need one, two, three. J up. Dig X. So that'll be our waterfall supply. somehow, so we'll come dig. Let's go two more. J. I. Hmm. Is this close enough to the edge of the map? No, that will fill into a lake. And then that will eventually fill up. Dump right here. Perfect. So right here. Whoa! Oops. Uh, dig. Uh, oh boy! I really botched that. Here, up, dig. Where are we going to drain that? We said we're going to drain it over here, right? Yeah. So, this gives me an idea. So, that's there. We can actually just go dig here. Because of the way we have this set up, we'll do a pressure reset here, like so. Then we can come up here and we'll jump down to about here. We'll do a dig, like so. And what we'll end up doing H123, water wheel, water wheel, water wheel. Wheel, water wheel, water wheel, water wheel, water wheel, water wheel. So that gives us some power as well. We can go like this. And I think this is where we'll put our kitchens too. Ah, for crying out loud, it's supposed to be a D. some measure of maintenance to this in some way some fashion somehow so we'll put a maintenance point here up down take like that so we can get back out if we ever get too far down in there where we can't get back out up right there, so good. X. Alrighty. Alrighty, so we will do a perpetual waterfall there just for the, oops, DX, I need space for doors. hat 
attach there too somehow, some way. X. There. You guys are busy. Build door. Still haven't gotten around to the door. Okay. How many miners do you usually embark with? Two. Uh, that's the standard uh, uh, embark profile for Lazy Noob. Um, two guys with two real cheap picks, and that's usually sufficient. And then one guy who's a woodcutter, and then I build extra training axes for when I get my first migrant wave. Yeah. 